Despite law enforcement telling them they were wrong, they never gave up. Blogger Joy Baker and survivor Jared Shirell teamed up to provide critical clues in the Jacob Wetterling case. In 2014, WCCO aired the first interviews with them. They had evidence that Jacob's case was connected to a series of unsolved sexual assaults on boys in the mid-80s in Painesville and to Jared's own 1989 sexual assault. It is a theory that led to a breakthrough in the case. But as S.M.A. Murphy shows us, Jared and Joy were initially told they were wrong. I mean, law enforcement was telling you that this was wrong, that you were on the wrong track, that this had all been looked into, and you kept going. Yeah. I don't know if that was just to deter us. Jared Shirell and blogger Joy Baker began their partnership tracking down leads in the summer of 2013. It was after Baker had uncovered a series of articles detailing unsolved sexual assaults on boys in Painesville, Minnesota in 1986 and 1987. What was driving you? Because I felt it was really important. This was the closest lead I've ever, or tip I've ever seen. Shirell was assaulted and kidnapped in Cold Spring, Minnesota, nine months before Jacob was kidnapped. It was Jared who helped the FBI put together this now famous sketch of his own attacker. Just weeks after Jacob was taken, the FBI issued a statement saying Jacob's and Jared's cases were linked. And these facts match up with Jacob's. Abduction. But in 2004, under the leadership of the BCA's Ken McDonald and Stearns County Sheriff's Captain Pam Jensen, the investigation moved away from that theory. They had told me that uh, we don't believe that your and Jacob's cases are connected. BCA search warrants say starting in 2004, investigators believed no vehicle was used in Jacob's kidnapping, that the kidnapper had to be on foot, and that the BCA and Stearns County believed Jacob's kidnapper was farmer Dan Rassier, who they investigated for 10 years, even digging up his farm in 2010 and publicly naming him as a person of interest. I told him back in 1999, I told him in 2004, and I told him in 2013 that Dan Razier was not my person. Neither Stearns County or the BCA would comment on why in 2004 they did not go back to what we now know they knew in January 1990, that the tire tracks and a shoe print at the Wetterling abduction scene were consistent with but not a scientific match to Danny Heinrich, a man who court documents reveal was back then a suspect not only in the Painesville cases, but in Jacobs and Jared's cases as well. It was a theory that law enforcement abandoned for a quarter of a century, only to be pushed by a blogger and survivor who never gave up. We believed in, in what we were doing. We really did. And despite what is written in those BCA's own search warrants, the BCA told us yesterday they never solely went for the theory of an abductor on foot. And the Stearns County Sheriff's Department declined to comment. Jared Shirell and Joy Baker spent hundreds and hundreds of hours of their own time pursuing leads. And last Tuesday, after Danny Heinrich's chilling confession, they were publicly thanked by Patty Wetterling. So you say that Joy and Jared used their own time to work on this case, hundreds and hundreds of hours. I mean, it Unbelievable like a amounts of time, yes. Full-time job, but do they have an actual full-time job? They, in they, actually, to they actually do have real full-time jobs. Uh, Joy actually works in public relations at Minnesota Healthcare Facility. Mm -hmm. And Jared Shirell is a plumber in Painesville. And just recently, some of his friends have started a GoFundMe page to help him offset all the expenses, the, the gas money that he spent on his own, yeah. really investigating this case, an investigation that really did turn out to help find yeah. Jacob. It's incredible. Yes. All right. Thank you, Esme.